Donald Trump Jr. went into hostile waters today, and he took it to the gales on The View. I'll give him credit. He literally went into enemy territory today. Donald Trump Jr. went on ABC's The View. I am certainly no fan of The View, and any of you that have been watching my channel, subscribe to my channel, know that from time to time, I just have an absolute joy, not a babe uh, meltdown on here. How this, how this woman, first of all, is considered a comedian. There's nothing even remotely funny about her, except maybe the way she looks. Uh, and then Megan McCain, you know, constantly crying over the fact that, you know, Donald Trump just hasn't given her father the respect that he deserved. Yeah, I have a lot to say about that, and I have, and I'm not going to waste time on this video talking about a traitor like John McCain. But of course, Donald Trump Jr. was pounced. He was pounced by the so-called Republicans on that panel, i.e. Megan McCain. He was pounced by Joy Not a Babeheart, pounced on by Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of that cast. And of course, they kept coming around to Donald Trump and his discourse, and he's mean, and he says hurtful things as if it's a one-way situation, as if he is the originator and pontificator of all of this so-called uh, unpolite discourse. They never talk about the way he gets talked about it. When Donald Trump Jr. tried to make the case that, look, when, when you're my dad and you are attacked every single day, which immediately they jump in and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mitch McConnell never said anything nice about Barack Obama. Yeah, but Barack Obama had the entire Hollywood and mainstream media in his corner. Yeah, he had those of us on the right and talk radio. He had the Rush Limbaugh's and the Sean Hannity's talking about him, but he didn't have CNN dogging him. He didn't have the New York Times, the Washington Compost. Every single other program in America was pro-Obama. It is a 95% negative coverage of President Donald J. Trump. And that was the case that Don Jr. was trying to make. And, of course, you know, they were, he says all these inappropriate things, and don't you regret this, and don't you regret that. And Donald Trump Jr. drew blood when he said, we've all said things that we later regret. And then he pointed to Joy and to Whoopi, and he pointed out some things that they ought to be regretful over. We, we've all done things that we regret. I mean, if we're talking about bringing a discourse down... Joy, you've worn blackface. Whoopi, no, you I said that I'm Roman sorry, Polanski. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and don't. You, if you, you said do that it, Roman Polanski. It wasn't rape, rape when he raped a child. So let's, oh, let's okay. talk about. So yeah, no, let's things. talk Come about on, this. So fair. you want to bring this up? The yeah. question came up. I did not about, go in blackface, please. No, she was not in blackface. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's start with Joy, not a babe heart. I didn't wear blackface. I didn't wear blackface, and Whoopi right away running to her defense. She did not wear blackface. As a black woman, I can tell you, she didn't wear blackface. Well, we went into the YouTube archives and look what we found. <laughs> no, I, I, is that you, Joy? Oh, you know, this picture. Oh, I Joy, was, is that you, yeah. Joy? That is oh, you? Yes. Oh, Joy, Wait. What? No, I know. <laughs> I was so cute. Uh -huh. Joy. How cute I was. We, are you my auntie, Joy? <laughs> no. <laughs> that oh, is me. My word. What, what year is it? Circle I what? I was 29. It was a Halloween party. I went as a beautiful African woman. Oh, yes. You ain't black. But that's my hair. <laughs> that's my hair. That, you can be, yeah, but it is. So, uh, so the whole point of why it is are that you curly hair is coming back. I thought that was, I thought, that, that is me. Did you have tanning lotion on, Joy? I literally had makeup that was a little bit darker uh -huh, than my skin. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm probably not getting her name right, but I, th I think her name is, uh, is it Raven Simone or Samoyne? I know she had her own TV show for a while, Not So Raven or So Raven, and she was the little, little kid on the Cosby show uh, during its last couple of seasons. Uh, she's sitting there saying, uh, that's blackface. That's bla I mean, she's a little offended by it. 
And here comes Whoopi to Joy's defense. That's not blackface. That's not blackface. Isn't that amazing? In the Democratic Party, you can be forgiven for prejudice and bigotry and wearing blackface as long as you have the right political ideology. You know, we've got the governor of Virginia who we have multiple pictures of him wearing blackface because he liked Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um, but having Whoopi come to your defense, that's not a great defender. Because apparently, Whoopi will defend anyone over anything they've done, no matter how vile and reprehensible, as long as, again, they're the right political ideology. Remember, Donald Trump Jr. pointed out, you defended Roman Polanski. Well, it wasn't really rape. And, of course, Whoopi didn't say she didn't say that. That was smart for her, because, again... We go to the archives. Was not charged. I know it wasn't rape, rape. Yeah, there was a statutory. Rape. I, I, child molest, maybe. I'm I not think sure. It what was the child something. Molest. It was something else, but I don't believe it was rape, rape. And when we get all the information, somebody will tell me in my ear. All I'm trying to get you to understand mm -hmm. is when we're talking about what someone did and what they were charged with, we have to say what it actually was, okay, not so what we, we think back it was. With what he said he did. He gave her quaaludes. He gave mm -hmm. her champagne. Mm -hmm. She was drugged. She was 13 years old. He asked her, here's a transcript. Uh, and, but that's what I'm saying. You're 13 years she old. Was she was still a child. He initially, asked her, excuse me, initially he was charged with rape. Go ahead. And then he, he pled guilty to having sex with a minor. Okay? And he went to jail. And when they let him out. 45 days. And when they let him out, he said, you know what? This guy's going to give me 100 years in jail. I'm not staying. And that's why he left. So that's why I wanted to be really clear, because I okay. wanted to know exactly what we were talking and about. I, I, I just want to be clear. I just want to be clear on what really happened. Yeah, here's what really happened. Roman Polanski, age 45, made sexual advances on a 13-year-old. He spent 45 days, 45 can you say Jeffrey Epstein? 45 days in jail. When he got out, worried that he would be sent back for 100 years, he fled the country. And Hollywood continues to defend this guy. And now listen to Whoopi explain that, look, in other parts of the world, having sex at 13, 14, it's no big deal. You know, I have to tell you, again, you know, we're, we're a different kind of society. We see things differently. The world sees 13-year-olds and 14-year-olds and the rest of Europe. They're seen oftentimes. Well, I wonder what, I, well, what I just, would I, say if that was I his 13-year-old daughter. I, well, Sherry, I don't know, but I do know that not everybody agrees with the way that we see things. So this is the moral voice of virtue that wants to lecture you, me, and apparently Don Jr. on what America ought to look like on civility and conversation, and hear this pig, and yes, I'm calling Whoopi Goldberg a pig, quote me on it, this vile pig is defending a 45-year-old man who raped, molested, sexually abused, can you say me too? A 13-year-old girl. And she's going to lecture us on what Donald Trump has turned the country into? You're kidding me. And the thing is, earlier, she and Joy both were jumping all over Don Jr. about, you know, that infamous NBC tape where Donald Trump, 25 years ago, you know, and having one of his locker room man moments, you know, bragged that he could grab women in the hoochie coup. Again, we all know that when we elected this president, he was not a choir boy. He was not a career professional politician who was constantly from day one of his hatching from his mother's womb, thought about how to uh, make every sentence that comes out of your mouth somehow... Uh, favorable to polling data, uh, we we under we understand exactly where Donald Trump came from. And by the way, he he's been honest and upfront about it. But this 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 selective moral outrage by the left 
to point out these things about Donald Trump while they defend a pedophile. And again, I did a full series, this has got to be at least a year or two ago, um, when Corey Feldman was really pointing out about the pedophilia rings in Hollywood and among the political elite, i.e., can you say Hillary Rodham Clinton? And I pointed this out. I know that there are many of you that you hear these stories and they are so over the top, you just you can't believe it. You just and you refuse to believe it. And you say you 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 tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy loons. And it is. It's so unbelievable and so reprehensible it becomes easy, don't miss this, to mock it. You know, sometimes when you're hiding something, the best place to hide it is right out in plain sight and people will walk right past it. Well, you know, sometimes the left hides their crimes right out in broad daylight, and they don't have to really say or do anything to explain it or deny it. They let you do that. They let you look at that and go, that, that's not really what I'm seeing. You know, Michael Jackson was a predator, and yet you'll have Oprah Winfrey and the entertainment world to this day still sing the accolades and praises of the, the pop originator himself, Michael Jackson. Okay. Okay. Um, but they'll point out the, 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 the so-called immorality of a Donald Trump. And I, and I already pointed this out as well. Whether you believe it or not, there are some vile, evil, reprehensible individuals that believe they derive literal power. And you can call it Satanism and the occult. And you may deny it. You may think it's a bunch of fairy tales and hogwash and it's fiction. But there are people that are stone cold serious. They believe that the way they glean power through the occult is to crush and destroy and violate anything that's innocent, i.e. children, i.e. pedophile rings in Hollywood and among the political elite. And now we see that Whoopi Goldberg is completely proud of the fact she's one of their defenders. She is defending a predator, a pedophile, Hey, all of you liberal women that watch The View and love The View and think Whoopi and Joy are doing God's work, where's the backlash? Where's the Me Too gang? Whoopi Goldberg is defending Roman Polanski. Donald Jr. called her out on it. Daniel, Donald Jr. pointed out to Joy, you wore blackface. I absolutely love the fact that the president's son went on there he didn't, he didn't waffle, he didn't cave, and can you say Don Jr., 2024? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a liberal's nightmare? Hey, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. If you are, thank you. If you're not, please do so. Smack the bell so that you get notification of my next rant. Give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure you tune in again to the afternoon drive.